Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Tuesday, January 8th, 2019. Um, I will be pulling one card of your theme for the day um, from Sacred Traveler. I just absolutely love this deck. Absolutely love it. I just got it. So all right, what do you want our Water Signs to know for Tuesday, January 8th in love? Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. Beautiful card. And you got two, rejuvenating rain, clear the past and heal the present. So most definitely these two tie together. You are stronger than you think you are and you can heal from this. You can clear the past out and make room for new energy in for your future and heal your heart from past things that were really hard for you. All right, that is your theme for today. So we will see what the angels have for us. Three cards for you, water signs, three for the person you're dealing with, and three for the outcome. So first cards out are the six of swords and the three of pentacles. and the three of wands in reverse the person you are dealing with is the nine of swords the eight of wands And the Six of Wands. I'm going to tip you down here so you can see your cards. Okay, your guys' outcome for today is the Wheel of Fortune in the upright and the Ace of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. The guys' is bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Hanged Man. Clarified by the Eight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups in reverse. Your next card on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles all in the upright. Okay. So let's see what you guys got here. We will start with your shared energy. Um, you are in a time of um, taking a step back and healing, uh, putting yourself into a self-made cocoon and more so I feel to protect your heart than anything. But in this time of um, taking a step back, you are finding healing um, in that time of silence, uh, healing from a relationship that did not um, have the love or did not get offered the love the way you thought you would, um, the way that you felt about this person is not how they felt about you. And it just, it really hurt you. Um, for some of you, somebody didn't come forward and offer you a relationship like you had hoped. So you feel like you have nothing, um, no other choice, but to move forward, to move on. But this is moving away from something that is not good. This is moving away from something that's emotionally draining. It's emotionally exhausted you. You're emotionally spent and there's nothing left here for you. All of the cups are upside down. Um, they're all empty. And, but for some reason, you're having a hard time walking away from this situation. You could have um, invested a lot of time and, and heart and soul into this person. And so you're having a hard time accepting the fact that it's over and that, and that there is no love um, left between the two of you to share. So you are taking this step back right now. And this does match with your cards from the sacred traveler. You are in a time of healing. <clears throat> so you are moving forward, um, moving away from a situation that has put you, um, in a lot of rough water. You could be for some of you, you're also moving for a, a job. Why is this six of swords? Oops, there's one flicked in here. Let's get that turned back over. 
All right, why is the Six of Swords here for our water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, water was pretty heavy in the Earth sign reading, so you could be the third party of that person that's moving away, uh, walking away from an Earth sign. Um, fire is very heavy here as well, though. So why is the Six of Swords here for our water signs? Thank you. Yep, you're moving away from a third party. Um, at one point in time, this person brought you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. Um, and now you're just, you have to move away from this situation that is emotionally scarring you. Emotionally, um, it's causing you to have some emotional baggage. Uh, but you are moving forward into a more beautiful space um, with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Definite movement, definitely moving away from a person, a situation um, that you are a third party of. Why is the three of pentacles here? You could be having a hard time walking away because this is somebody you have children with, um, somebody that you've invested. Uh, you could also have a business together. Um, but if you are the third party... You're walking, yeah, this is breaking your heart. Look at all these threes, holy cow. You're moving away from a situation that you thought um, you were investing in for the long haul. You thought that this was somebody that was going to build and create something with you. And all that's given you is a broken heart. Um, you were the third party in this situation for this group of you. Wow. Why is the three of wands here in reverse? Yeah, you're feeling just utterly heartbroken, water signs. Why is the three of wands here in reverse? So you thought this person was a blessing. You thought uh, things were going to start happening. You thought you were going to be moving and manifesting. And all of this relationship has left you is stuck. Uh, stuck by the situation. Stuck waiting. Stuck waiting on them to make a move, to make a decision. Um, and you're no longer going to allow this situation to make you stuck um, in one place anymore. Why is a nine of swords here for water signs person? This could also be that the two of you, that you are moving towards that other person. Um, even after all the heartbreak, you're going to give this person a chance. Um, because this person, you're at a distance from this person at the moment. And you, um, and they're going to get out of a feeling stuck, but that's for very few of you. For the majority of you, you're walking away from this situation altogether. Uh, why is the nine of swords here? Yeah. Okay. So this person has been stressed out about making this decision, having a hard time, uh, deciding what it is that they want. Uh, they're very in and out, uh, letting their themselves get caught up in their own thoughts. And overall, they're just emotionally unavailable. They are not um, sharing with you how they feel. They're not sharing with you what they want. They're just holding on tight to their um, emotions. And um, for some of them, they're staying for material gain. Uh, they're worried about not having enough money. So they're staying in a situation that they're not happy in that has caused them a lot of strife just so they can um, financially be stable be okay why is the eight of wands here they are reaching out and sending you a message they could be letting you know that they're going to stay and work on this relationship they're currently in and that's what's breaking your heart what's the communication about for water signs yeah yeah that's what's breaking your heart their communication is going to be cold uh very uh sharp cutting uh not a good, not good messages. And this energy can be vice versa, but this is winning at all costs. This is saying something to make themselves feel better about the situation they're in. Could be hurting you. Um, they could be trying to flip this on you, trying to blame you for them not choosing to come towards you for some reason. But this is winning at all costs, winning at the expense of other people's feelings. And it's, kind of an asshole card to have next as a six of wands, but finding victory like, and that card's 
winning with, uh, yeah, they're finding, wow, they're finding victory in their communication, uh, being clarified by the eight of wands. So this person feels like whatever they said to you, you deserved, um, this could be vice versa. Um, this, the top row could have the third party and they're finally letting it loose. Um, they are letting you know how this has hurt them, how it has made them feel. And they find victory in finally opening up communication and telling you how they feel. Um, like I said, this can go vice versa. Um, either way, the wheel is turning. So you're going to be moving into some better energy. Um, better things are coming your way. Why is the wheel of fortune here for our water signs? Just remember you are stronger than what, oh wow, I was just going to say, just remember you're stronger than what you think and you have the strength card in reverse. You're, you're lacking confidence. You're la lacking faith. Um, you're having a hard time believing that good things are coming for you. Uh, make sure you remember you are in control of your situation and um, you are most definitely um, stronger than what you think. It's time to step into your power, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. Amazing things are coming for you. So don't forget to keep the faith. You are the master of your own destiny. Um, and stay strong. Don't, don't, uh, not, don't let your fear keep you from moving forward because when you move forward, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor because right now you're just feeling emotionally drained. There's a lot of tears that are being fallen. Why is the Ace of Cups here in reverse? Thank you. Yeah. And you're at a crossroads. You don't know whether to continue to hold on to this person. You don't know whether to let go of this person, but either way, you're emotionally drained and, um, it's time to, uh, clear the past and heal, heal what's going on right here. Go within and, uh, and you will, you will see which direction to go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because the universe is going to make it clear which way to um, go in your path, especially after this moon, new moon we just had. You're not going to wait for somebody to make an offer to you. I do feel you're moving on. You're moving away from this uh, draining situation and and going to step into your own power. Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? This one wanted to fly out. The Knight of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, the Ten of uh, Swords is at the bottom of your clarifying deck. But you're not waiting for this person to make an offer anymore. You are moving forward. They have moved too slow. Uh, you are tired of waiting on this person. Um, all they ended up doing was emotionally draining you, and you just don't feel like you have the heart to wait it out any longer. This person could be very controlling or um, very uh, just the way they talk to you, demeaning. Um, thinking that you should, they, they expect you to wait around forever for them and they feel offended that you are going to try to move forward, to move on, but it is what's being called for here and to, uh, yeah, to, to clear the past and heal your present and with, you know, with the ace of cups in reverse. That's a lot of tears, crying over not getting the start with this person. And then you have rejuvenating rain as one of your cards. Um, tears are, are uh, spirits or sources way of cleansing your soul. Allow that cleansing to, um, to come forward and, and um, allow, it, allow it to clear out your, your heartache. All right, let's get one card for our... Water signs for Tuesday, January 8th, 2019 from our Romance Angels. All right. So this could be the one, but it is in reverse. So it says you already um, have met the romantic partner you seek. And then the card right under it, two came out, was uh, oops, Reconciliation. So I do feel that you have to um, clear out your past with a person that you um, have been waiting on that has hurt you um, and that kind of left you in limbo. So clear out your past and heal your present because you do have somebody else coming in. I do feel this is a separate energy. Somebody from your past is returning to your life um, and 
Uh, so you need to have your energy cleared out for this person to come forward um, for you, water signs. So kind of some difficult energy today. Um, getting some communication that may hurt or you are delivering some communication that may hurt. But um, it does show you moving forward in your spiritual path. Um, in the journey that's meant for you. So uh, there will be beauty in that. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a great Tuesday. I will see you next time. God bless.